Hey hello YouTube, this is GS Mama Smart, and I'm going to turn on a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at Adobe After Effects. And today, this is the uh, 2015 CC version tutorial, so if you have that version, this tutorial can apply for you. Because today, we're going to take a look at face tracking. So in the 2015 uh, release, they basically implemented a way that you can now face track much easier rather than just creating null objects, rather than just creating a bunch of pointers and having to do it manually. Uh, now it automatically does it through the tracking uh, method that's already in After Effects. So uh, here I have a piece of footage from an interview, Justin. What we're going to do is we're going to face track uh, this person here, and then we're going to add uh, something on his face through face tracking, and it'll follow him very easily. So the first step that you're going to do is uh, just go up to the ellipse tool here. If you have the rectangle tool, select the ellipse tool and just draw a rough mask around the face. Doesn't need to be super accurate, just uh, has to be a rough mask, something like uh, that. Then at the bottom here, uh, there's mask one. You're gonna right click that and you're gonna click track mask and that'll bring your tracker window up here. Now from here on, you wanna go and track backwards and track forward, that way we get all the data. Uh, before you do that, there are several methods here that are new. Now we have face track detailed and face track outline. A face track outline will basically just give you a mask that tracks the outline of the face without taking into account the nose, the eyes, the pupils, the lips, or anything like that. If you want more detailed face tracking, then I would recommend using the detailed version here. And we're actually going to do that. Uh, but if you want to add like certain effects, then you can use outline. So in fact, I'm going to go and do outline first so I can show you some examples uh, with effects that you can apply and then we'll go over compositing with uh, different images and different effects you can add onto the face. So outline first, we're going to press that. And then we're going to go ahead and backtrack from our main, from our main, main frame. And as you can see, the mask gets, gets adjusted and it'll start doing its work. Uh, when this is done, we're going to go ahead and track forward so we can get everything uh, in the front of our main frame here. And as you can see, it's basically doing the work. You want to make sure you press this button right here to track backwards. So it goes through all the frames before the frame that you have selected. So here we have all the data. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the uh, back to our spot that we were at. So you can zoom in by pressing Alt and the scroll the scroll um, the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now we're back here, and we're going to go ahead and this time track forward. Make sure you have your layer selected. Make sure you right click track mask again and they're going to go ahead and track forward from that main frame that we're at right now. And that will basically go through the frames in front of our main frame position here and basically take a look at the face here and analyze it and make some tracking points. All right, so once that's done, it can take a bit of a time. Uh, but now we basically have tracked information for all of this and you can see our mask is separated from uh, everything else. So now in our effects panel over here, we can do some color correction, uh, brightness, saturation. I'm going to go ahead and look for curves. I'm going to go ahead and drag that curve onto our face here. And when we make the adjustments here, if we want to make this a bit brighter, we can do that. Then near the bottom here, you click effects. You click your effect compositing options. Go and press the plus button and you'll see that now the effect is only applied to our mask here. We can also go ahead and feather this mask if we wanted to, go to mask here and up the feathering. So here we can up the feathering a bit like so. And if we turn this effect on or off, you'll see the difference, as you can see. So it's a pretty neat way of color correcting. And as you can see, as the face moves, so does our color correction. So uh, we do have some weird, uh, mis we do have some weird color issues right here, but if you make your mask bigger, It'll, it'll work just fine. Now the other thing we can do is we can actually track detailed, uh, we can actually do some detailed face tracking, uh, such as the other features of our face. So we're gonna go ahead and delete all of this. We're gonna go ahead and delete our effect, delete our mask, delete everything. And we're gonna start from scratch again. We're gonna grab our ellipse tool again, and we're just gonna go ahead and make a rough mask around our face like so. You can hold down the Alt key and reposition like so. And then this time we're going to right click mask again, track and same thing. But this time we're going to choose a different method. We're going to pick detailed. And from here on, this may take a bit longer because we're going to do detailed tracking. So, but similarly, just press the back tracking first, then press the forward tracking. And uh, eventually you should have, as you can see, uh, several, several points are made now on the face to represent the eyebrows, the 
eyes, the pupils, uh, the lips, the nose here. So it's, it's a lot more detailed and you can work with tracking a lot more and you'll see we're going to add an element onto our video and make sure that it stays on the face so it actually looks like he has that element on him. So uh, let's just let this finish tracking and I'll be back. All right, now once we have that, we can see that we have all the tracked points following each frame. The points actually move with the face. So now we're able to actually put something on the face and uh, adjust it to the tracking points. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to the mask here. Instead of add, we're gonna click none because we only needed the add option for uh, actually getting the mask to work. But now we don't need that anymore. So press none on that. And now you'll see on the left side here, we actually have, for each part of the face, we have some X and Y positions. And now we can actually copy and paste or link these to specific other images or other elements that we want to add to After Effects, which is what we're going to do right now. So here I have just a beard. I'm going to go ahead and add into the composition here. And as you can see, it's a Santa Claus beard. We're going to go ahead and try to add the Santa Claus beard onto our subject here in this video and track it using our tracking points. Let me just go ahead and resize this first. You can also change the opacity of your element or of your image to sort of make sure it matches on top of the face. So open transform under your object and then opacity. You can go ahead and change that to a lower amount and you'll see now we're able to get a better representation of where our object is. So here we've added our uh, beard almost accurately on top of our face. Obviously, if you zoom in and resize this a bit more, you can get a lot more accurate. I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100%. Then if you go back to your footage with the tracking at the very top, you can lock this. So from here, we're going to go ahead and alt click on position, the stopwatch here, to bring up the expression. And we're going to connect with this lasso thing here, connect it to the top of the mouth. So there's mouth top. And when we connect that, when we connect that, we'll see that the beard is actually on top of here, but that's merely because the anchor point is at the center of the image. So to change the anchor point from being at the center of the image, all we gotta do is go to our anchor point here, and we're just gonna go ahead and bring it down until we get to the until we get it to the position that we had it at. So that should do right there. And now, if we actually go through this, the beard will move with the person, and the face tracking does a really good job at actually uh, moving the beard with the person. Now, if you want to separate the top of the beard from the bottom of the beard, if you want to go in Photoshop and cut the top out and cut the bottom out so you have a mustache and a beard, you can connect to the top of the beard to the top of the lip, and you can connect the bottom of the beard to the bottom of the lip, and then you'll actually, have, you'll actually see the mouth also. So a lot of cool things you can do with uh, After Effects and face tracking. And now if we actually let this play here so we can preview it, you'll see that as the, mouth, as the mouth moves, the beard is also moving. So some pretty awesome things you can do with face tracking. And uh, you can get even more detail by separating parts of the beard. Uh, and you can even add uh, avatar faces. You can completely change the face by adding an avatar mask over the person's face. I've seen people do that. I've seen people add glasses, mustaches, all kinds of cool things you can do. And it's a really powerful feature in Adobe After Effects. So hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did like it, go ahead and leave a like at the bottom of the video. Any comments or questions, if you're confused about something, leave a comment down below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other, uh, lots of other Adobe After Effects tutorials on the channel. Other tutorials regarding software editing, video editing, image editing, audio editing lots of cool things on the channel if you're into different softwares so i recommend to subscribe and check it out and if you want to donate a dollar to my patreon page or anything as low as that is very helpful very much appreciated click the card in the top right hand corner of the screen will bring you to the page and if you want to check out the vlogging channel the gaming channel the advice channel or the music channel links are in the description as well as on the end screen and that's pretty much it thank you for watching as always and this is gs smart and i'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere